Hello church, it's Wednesday. We always get together on Wednesdays for devotional and Bible study, but because of the situation that we are in, uh, we are not able to come together. We do not know how long it's going to be before we're going to be able to meet together as a church. So one of the things that we're trying to do is to produce some video uh, content with devotionals and announcements and those sorts of things to try to help us stay connected and to serve as a resource. So we do want to share a devotional thought. Um, I was struck by an article that recently was produced in Christianity Today magazine and what it did is it talked about technology and Christianity and one of the things that it observed is the dramatic increase globally of people who are using their smartphones or uh, apps in order to uh, read scripture and to get devotional thoughts and in fact in a recent survey they conducted uh, it highlighted this dramatic increase across the globe of people that are using technology in order to grow their faith in order to uh, seek a spiritual nourishment and I found that very interesting uh, especially in light of the fact that we today are having to lean on technology to help uh, meet some of our uh, spiritual needs and some of the needs of the church uh, one of the things that's interesting in that article about technology and Christianity is they were able to analyze scriptures that people were looking up across the world and it zeroed in on the number one passage. There was a very clear winner. There was one passage of scripture that people all over the world were looking up on their smartphone the most, more than any other passage. It was the passage in Philippians 4 and verse 6. And that scripture says, Be anxious about, uh, do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer, and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. I uh, find it very interesting that that's the number one passage that is searched for. Um, it shows that there's a lot of anxiety in the world. Uh, people are looking for relief. People are looking for security. People are looking for faith in the midst of fear. And I think this is a wonderfully encouraging scripture. Uh, we don't have to be anxious about, about anything, uh, no matter what we're facing, because we have the resource of prayer, and we have a God who loves us, and a God who gives us strength and grace. When we think of uh, things that sustain us, we think of one another. We uh, work together to give encouragement. We work together to help each other and give care and compassion. Uh, we want to stay connected, remembering that we are the body of Christ. We have the resources of scripture and prayer. And so my encouragement to you is even when we're having to stay home a lot, spend time with God's word, spend time with God in prayer, and that is able to uh, sustain us uh, tremendously. And then also just remember God gives his strength. Uh, he doesn't withhold it, he gives it. Ephesians 6 and verse 10 says, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. And so even in the midst of uncertain times, we have a lot to be thankful for and we st are still connected as the body of Christ and we have the resources of scripture and prayer and we have a powerful God who supplies our every need. So do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. Take care.